Hello everyone, and welcome to the 20th episode of our Stalker Gamma Invictus run. Last time, we started out in Rostock, we fixed our Nosorog armor, we fully upgraded it, then we moved over to Zaton to get our weapons from our stash in the Skadovsk. I always wanted to say Svadovsk. Anyway, right, and then we moved through the Jupiter Underground, came back to Strelox base, uh, cleared Lab X8. It was the hardest thing ever. It took like three minutes. Um, then we came back here. Uh, we continued with the mission. We received our Gauss prototype. We have a lot of ammo for it. Well, a lot. About 80-ish. Uh, almost 80. Yeah. And uh, we cleared the monolith here, which was the first mission in dealing with the monolith in Pripyat. And now we're going to have to move to Pripyat and do that part of the mission. Now, the thing about this is, if you just move um, to Pripyat from the outskirts, you will come out in this building here, which... Uh, is is a horrible place to come out there's a mutant spawn point right in front of the building it's usually just pseudo dogs but it can be other things as well and right after that you can't really deal with them without pulling the attention from the rest of the monolith base so a lot of the time you end up in weird positions where you can't really you're you're just surrounded on all sides by monolith so I've never tried this before, but I do have an idea. The stadium here only has a few monolith around it. Which means, if we would come through the stadium, we should be able to have good firing lines on all this building in front, and uh, we should have enough cover in front of the building to deal with the rest of the base. From a distance, which would be amazing. But to get here, we actually have to come through the Chernobyl nuclear power plant courtyard, the front courtyard. Which means we are going to have to go back through Jupiter Underground, Zaton. We could actually get some stashes on the way. And uh, cross the power... The, we'll come out through here, cross the courtyard, kill some monolith on, monolith on the way, and uh, come in through here. Now, I've never tried this before, but I do think we'll have a much better chance than if we just move moved through Pripyat, um, through outskirts. Uh, I I mean, yeah, the the whole trip, even with mutants on the way and maybe other stalkers, I consider to be less of a of a risk than that one minute it takes right here. Also, the stadium would be a very good place to leave our guys behind. Because, of course, if we lose any of these guys, Strelok, Stitch, and Rogue, the game basically can't be finished. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to try and protect them as much as possible. And uh, I'm gonna leave a disclaimer right now. If one of them dies, I'll just load from a previous save, simply because... I, I don't think we want our run to be ended just because the companion AI is uh, stupid. Right? Right. Okay, so don't forget to throw in a like, a subscribe, leave a comment, it really helps out the channel and I would love to grow it even larger. So, yeah, with all that said, let's start our episode. Right, so... Uh, oh, calm down, Kashir. Oh, let's just run straight to the exit. And, uh... uh I kind of don't want to use this weapon for mutants, but you know what? Let's, let's just do it. Okay, so here we are in the Jupiter Underground. I can already hear some mutants. Yep, Snork. Right over there. Oh, 
Смена магазина. Bloodsucker in the snork. I feel like I'm just wasting bullets at this distance. Did, did we get the bloodsucker though? Yes, we did. Okay. Let's keep moving. And I'm a little bit thirsty, so you know what? I'll drink one cold brew coffee. Okay, what's up ahead? It should... Oh, it's another tunnel. Never mind. I thought it's the big room. Oh yeah, these are toxic anomalies, so let's not get into them. Lurkers? Really? Oh! Okay. Cool. <laughs> Never expected to see lurkers over here. And some of those annoying, uh... Psy zombies. Really hate those things. Um, oh, these are the, the lurkers we cleared um, with clear sky. Funny enough. Actually, is there anyone else in this? Uh... Ah, I can't tell. I, I would love uh, underground facility maps to be implemented. I mean, they are available from the minimap, so I'm guessing... Uh, Okay. Mild panic. <laughs> okay. And we are out at the tracks. And I think I want to take the left side just to see what's behind the big anomaly field. Yep, there's something over there. Those look like zombies. Oh, there was something there. Bloodsucker. Okay, those those guys are really hard to spot with the uh, with the night vision. Okay, uh, speaking of night vision, as always, I'm just gonna use the light while crossing here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Okay. Okay, I think we're good. Ah, oh, ordering. I, I should have used the... Should have turned off the night vision first. 
Okay, it's not much, but it's something. Um. Oh, there's uh, corpses from the guys we killed before here. Oh, that's a burner. Go around that. And I actually see some zombies around here. So I'm gonna switch my guys to path. Oh! Okay, that was annoying. Okay, I'm gonna switch to AB. Because I have no idea what's waiting for us at the other side. Right. And I can already hear some enemies around here. God damn it. Stand still, you idiots. I don't know if there was anyone there, but... kind of weapon that does that guy have? Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh. Fuck you. Right, so my armor is pretty damaged. What the fuck weapon did you have? Oh, that makes sense. That's why I was taking all that damage. An Ash 12. Oh, that was painful. Okay. Let's loot whatever we killed here.
it's better than what we have. But we'll take it. Uh, although fixing it's gonna be annoying. Let's let's start with our own uh, with our own exo and omit. Right, so it's one more BR. The thing is, this one isn't upgraded. So, yeah, we would lose out on a lot of other resistances, but very little. We would gain some movement speed compared to this, which uh, is fully upgraded. So we have 10% ballistic resistance and uh, the Psy resist is upgraded as well. Uh, it might be worth to take the, the UNISG and uh, fix it at some point. But for now, it's not the most important thing. Uh, the, the gain would be kind of marginal, so... Ah, uh, wasted so many bullets. But, yeah, I mean... We did get another Nosrog, which is not bad if you think about it. Okay, so we're gonna go straight. Oh, huh, there's a duty here. here. That's interesting. We're gonna go straight on the road and to the north. I'm gonna do a little check, make, make sure there's no mutants around. Those look like dogs. Nope. It's a boar, actually. Holy fuck, this gun's so loud. Now the whole zone knows I'm here. Let's get them back to fire at Will. I hope Will doesn't mind. Sorry, I, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> uh... Not even gonna loot it. Cool boys. Okay, there might be some other mutants around here. I heard something, but I think it's just an anomaly. Oh, actually? It's another boar. There is something else there, but you know what? I, I, nah, I can't be bothered. So let's just keep moving. So we're just gonna run straight forward. We won't bother with anything. I'm not even gonna clear out the mercs again. I heard some zombie noises up in front. Not too worried about that. 
Though I will switch my gun back to AP because we might meet some... Uh, we might meet some enemies up there in the factory or whatever it is. Zombies are probably up on the bridge. Oh no, there's one. Actually a lot of them there. Okay, that's better. The annoying thing with fighting a lot of uh, heavily armored enemies is by the time I get to the monolith, I may, my, I may be out of AP ammo. Which is not a good thing. Don't see or hear anyone. Let's have a quick look around. Okay, looks mostly clear. Always check this building as well. And of course, down by the ship. Looks clear. Okay. I am going to pass by the Skadovsk. Because uh, I want to see if I can maybe buy some more 9x39 ammo. We can sell some mutant parts, we can sell some of the other ammo we've got. Whew, that was close. hungry so let's have some whatever mutant chops these are Все, музыкальная пауза. Ну привет. Ну здорово. Okay, let them all get in and wait here. Right, so, Pip, do you have anything I can sell? Not particularly. How about... Oh, I can actually drop my uh, Nosrog here. And I think that's it. Hmm. I think we still have a stash around here, though. Okay, so we can actually sell some of these things. Right. What else? Basically, I'm, I'm gonna throw anything that sticks at that mechanic. Including this. I do still want the grapes. I don't know what I want them for, but I do remember I need them for something. Alright, and... Uh, 
I think that's it for now. Do we have any missions that we could finish easily? Um, oh, whatever. Let's just sell the stuff. Привет, брат. Okay, drop these. Um, should disassemble these. Buckshot can go. Still need the grenades. Power supply. Um, what else don't we need from here? All of these. Um, these I need. Okay. And I'll throw everything away, basically. Okay, this should be enough to get us a little bit of a, a little bit of ammo, right? Yeah. I'll fix these by hand, honestly. Ooh, here we go. Oh god, these are expensive. Hmm, we have advanced tools, but I think this requires uh, expert tools to upgrade. Well, an advanced weapon kit. Oh, we also had a PDA. Okay, what else can we sell? Ну что, есть что-то новое? Mm. We do have a lot of meds. Can drop some of the bandages. Can drop this. And this. Actually, we should sell these to a medic. And there is a medic here. But we can't sell that to a medic. We have fentanyl, so this can go. Um, gonna have to leave the mutant parts uh, in the base here. Right. Oh, that's actually pretty cheap. That's not very cheap. 70k. Let's go uh, talk to the medic first. Иди, иди, нечего тебе тут делать. Слушаю тебя. Now let's see what we can sell him. Um, don't need this. Don't need as much as of these. Um, yeah, get rid of these. Couple of these, actually, all of these. I rarely use glucose, so we don't really need it. Couple of these. That, definitely. And, uh... That it? I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. Maybe sell some more mutant parts. And we do have a lot of them here. And we also have a lot of grenades. I'm gonna take these with me. And I'm gonna sell these 27. Right. Um, don't have a cooking kit here. And honestly... Yeah. I'm gonna just sell all these. But I will drop this and uh, that. Okay. So we do actually have a pretty big stash of uh, stuff. 
Okay, again, nothing to sell to him. Well, grenades. That's why I came here. 10k. Right. That's good. And, um... You buy mutant parts? Let's see. It's not a lot. 15k. Um... Does Beard buy mutant parts? Yes, he does. And he does buy them for a bit more. Yeah. I think that's the trick. Okay. And with this, we'll buy all the 9x49 ammo this guy has. Right? Yes. Perfect. Do we need anything else? Nah. Um. I can drop these at home. And the rest should be turned into my companions. Hip, you can take some of this, and the other guy should be able to take the rest of these. Yeah, we, we have some... an okay amount of backup ammo. Let's recharge our batteries. Mm. I, I love how... Uh, how uh, effective that uh, experimental PSU is. Mm. Oh, personal journal. That's what I didn't sell. Not that it nets much, but... Eh. Okay, and uh, also... I know this guy has all the scopes available to humanity. So does he have something better for this? Honestly, not really. For the SR2M. Just gonna do a quick check, because I don't remember all the stuff he has, but from what I remember, this guy has uh, a lot of uh, upgrades. Unfortunately, nothing we really need right now. Next up, we gotta fix our weapons. Just gonna use this. Even the deagle's damaged. Okay. So I'm gonna um, throw a save in here, just in case. Alright, and it's time to head north, I guess. That was the burnt village. Not that, but we can take this stash here. And probably that one. So we're gonna go straight to the west. Do a quick weapon check, reload everything. don't remember exactly where this stash is. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe let's run away from that. Not in a pseudo-giant deal dealing with mood right now. Yeah. Okay. 
There's something down there. Oh no, it's just a... Uh, a bush glitching in and out of existence. Gonna name that Ripley's bush from now on. And in case you don't know, it's a little bit of a alien trivia. <laughs> I'm not gonna explain it here though. Ooh. What's with the lagginess over here? Like that's that's not just the video this time, it's actually in game too. Okay, we got some dogs. We got a snork. That didn't hit. Out of all the stalkers, are you gonna just attack Skrelok like that? Maybe it's upstairs? Uh, let my guys wait outside for a bit. Okay, I don't mind a bunch of meds and a multi-tool. And 9x39. With that, holy fuck, this, this house is loaded. Okay, and... Yeah, I'm gonna guess it's definitely upstairs. How do we get... Oh, there we go. Even more bullets. And... Advanced tools, I guess. And we can jump straight out. Right. So, up next... Nuclear power plant. Here we come. Okay, here we are. It's a beautiful sunny day here in the nuclear power plant courtyard. So, um, what should we expect here? Monolith, chimeras, pseudo-giants, and all other types of uh, horrible mutants you don't want to meet with. And there's our first two victims. I'm just gonna get behind the wall here. No one there. Come on, peek out a little bit. You know you want to.
I love this thing. Well, we do have to watch out with our bullets. Sixty-nine bullets. <laughs> nice. Okay, guys, follow me. Doesn't look like there's anything that way. Nope. But there's definitely two or three monolith guys. Oh, there's another one. Okay, there's gonna be a few in here. There always are. Let's give them a nice crumping. Okay, I think these were all of them. Oh, let's do a little quick loot. We'll take everything from them. Do a little self-care. That's an interesting development. We're definitely taking that. Torres, don't really care about that. Um, put the charcoal charcoal back. And honestly, these don't really need them right now. Um, yeah, I feel like they're too heavy to work to be worth it. Now, I'm not really scared about the monolith here, but uh, there are mutants. And those are not nice. Ooh, a grenade. Beautiful. Probably shouldn't be looting all of these, simply because I don't know if I'll ever use them. There's going to be another checkpoint somewhere over there. Oh! Pretty sure I saw something move over there. Oh yeah, it's a lurker. It's two lurkers. The Gauss does nothing against them, honestly. Come on. Here, puppies.
I mean, it's better that they fight each other. I don't even think I reached that far. Have a Chimera hide? Hmm. If it was in better condition, I wouldn't have minded that lurker pelt. Okay, there are. There are usually some monolith around there. Can't spot any right now though. I'm gonna grab a bite because we're a bit hungry. Um, and something to drink. Oh, there's one. Kind of hoping he was alone. And that looks like a controller. Yeah. I don't mind wasting a gout shot on a controller. Oh, crap. Don't know which way that thing goes. Another AK-105. Just double checking to see there aren't any more here. Okay, and this is where I would like to take a little bit of high ground and uh, scout around. Right to the south. You know what? Let's let's do it. Oh. It may be nothing, but I know this particular place as a kind of a run-ender for me. One of my, my other Invictus runs, basically I, I moved from Pripyat to here and got jumped by a pack of seven Chimeras or something, including a black one, so uh, yeah. You, you you can you can understand why I'd be a bit uh, anxious to come this way. Did 
there's actually a stash here. Ah, it's something. Drop these, because they're a bit heavy. Alright, and we're moving on to Pipiat. Which I honestly hope the weather stays as it is, because it's really nice weather for sniping. And we switch to AP. Alright, and in we go. Alright, so here we are. Oh! Okay, gonna climb up here and uh, let's see. Dogs? Don't see any monolith. That doesn't mean they're not there. Yeah, I know I'm wasting out some dogs, but... Alright, everyone follow. And we're gonna have to go left. Because there's anomalies to the right. Oh, there's one. Got him. Oh, there was someone there. <laughs> that guy's name was Ravioli. <laughs> right, guys, come over here, please. And wait there. Right. So I'm gonna try something. Was there someone up there? I think we're clear. I think we hear the exosuit, but... That was definitely a grenade. Not supposed to fall down. Not sure where they're shooting from, but they're not hitting anything apparently, so I'm good with that. Oh, never mind. I think they're coming from upstairs. Rogue, what the fuck are you doing? Just follow, everyone. Stop fighting. Okay, and stay there. Let's pull them out a bit. Okay, let's run back in.
They're also fighting something. But I... Oh! I think we can do some looting now. Uh, I am going to drop a lot of stuff that I don't uh, currently need. Just to keep the weight down a bit. Hey, those are just dogs. Exosuit. Oh, that's Charon. Wonder, are they coming from upstairs? Oh, that's Eidolon. You know what? Fight, guys. Okay, Eidolon's dead. Okay, you can stop. What are we fighting? Oh, that's uh, oh. Okay. All right. I did hear another guy, so let's deal with that one. We still have some good ammo. Oh, there we, there he is. Come on. We'll come after him after. Where did we kill? Didn't Charon have a weapon? Hmm. All right, we need some antidote to completely heal our head and torso. And let's see if this guy, uh, yeah, I hear him. Thought you had a big gun, huh? 
kind of does. <laughs> Right, so I think, I think that was it for now. Oh, deer hunter. Not a good one, though. Do I need rope? I don't need rope. I actually don't need any of these. At this point, uh, it's not worth carrying them around. Yeah, just stuff that I can sell. Uh, I also think... Um, do I want to replace my Desert Eagle? You know what? I'll take that and I'll give it to one of my guys. Ah, we can fix the multi-tool. Yeah. Right. So, um... I, I wasn't sure... I'm honestly never gonna need bolts ever again. I wasn't sure if this is gonna work. Uh, coming down from, from the actual power plant. But apparently, um... Coming to that part of the stadium right here actually creates a very nice choke point to fight them in. That. Okay. These. Yeah. Definitely not carrying parts, definitely not carrying rat meat. And maybe we'll clear some weight like that. Volatemerod. I mean, it's a lot of random resistances to elements, which I don't really need right now. No rats, though, which is cool. How many grenades do we... St oh, we have enough grenades, that's for sure. Okay, looted that guy. There should be another one here. Charon, we looted him. And... Uh, right. So I am going to throw down a quick save. Just in case we crash because I don't want to see all this progress wasted. And, uh... Do we actually need to go... clear the whole base? Yeah, let's, let's do it. But I'll switch to standard 9x39. Although, honestly, we already killed Charon. So, do we really need to clear the base? Nah. Nah, it's... it's uh, in a normal save, I would have done it, but um, I don't think it's worth it right now. Let's talk to Strelok. Everyone's alive. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're, we're good, I think. Um, yeah, fix, fixing, fixing stuff time. Uh, can't maintain this, can't maintain that. Right. So, let's just use some random weapon oil on him. Uh, I should actually give this away to someone. Hip, can you carry a gauss? Not only can she carry a gauss, she can fucking use a gauss. Nice. Right, don't need these, or that, or... Any of these. Right. Next up, uh, Fyodor. No, no, no. 
wanna see what you got. Hold my random stuff here. And um, I think that that's gonna be good enough. Hip with a gauss. With her accuracy? Oh boy, I'm afraid I'll get killed myself. Right, let's have some um, radioactive flesh bacon. And we can talk to Strelok. <coughs> Find a shard for the wish granter. Right. So, we got the CNPP raid. Which is in, actually in the... Inside the... Nuclear power plant. Now the thing is here that uh, I don't really want to jump straight in there. As in, I kind of want to have uh, an empty backpack when I go there. Maybe fix that gauss as well. Because if I remember right, the standard gauss is better than the experimental one. So what do we do? There's an exit towards Jupiter and uh, we could make our way back to the Skadovsk and just drop everything there. Or we could actually do a run back to Rostock, fix everything. No Skadovsk because I, I also have the UNISG EXO there. Yeah. So, looks like we still have to go to the middle of Pipiat. Hopefully, there aren't any more monolith guys left. I mean, the main guys, Eidolon and Charon, came at us. I don't expect there to be much more resistance, but there could be isolated pockets left that didn't aggro. Like that guy over there. Huh, a Viclop. That was a grenade. So let's let's move here. I know there's monolith behind us, but we'll just ignore them for now. Oh, exit is right here on our right. How do you get in here? I Damn that thing scared me. Where is it exactly? Please die. Thank you. Ah, here we go. Not the elevator. Upstairs? There we go. And we're out. Okay, here we are. Back safe and sound in... Jupiter. I'm gonna take a quick trip down here by the underground entrance. Um, I 
doesn't look like there's anyone here. So, do we have any munitions to turn in? No. So, let's just make a beeline straight to um, Zaton. I could have done that better. Yeah, I don't expect anything else to come after us at this point. And even if they do, we'll just uh, run straight to the exit. On. I'll just make a run for the Skadovsk. Ah, oh, poltergeist over there. I don't think it has anything to throw at us, so we should be good. But now that we're actually getting close to base, I'm thinking what we should do. Do we, uh, uh, do we continue with the... Oh, I heard some footsteps over there. the board. Okay, so do we continue with the mission to the nuclear power plant or do we make a run back to our base in Rostock and uh, regroup a little bit? Um, maybe do a few more farming missions, uh, get some money and uh, get some ammo because um, we are pretty limited on the ammo we have for our good guns. There's nothing here. And uh, yeah, we do have some backups on our companions, but honestly, I would prefer to go with one really good gun and um, have, have extra room on my companions to bring back all the loot from there. thing is, if I make a Rostock run, I'll probably do it between episodes. Another poltergeist. I'm gonna have to take this one out.
So yeah, if if I make a run back to Rostock, I'm probably gonna do it between episodes. Um, same with the uh, farming. I mean, at this point, if I take a couple of hours and just farm the southern areas, I don't think anything would should be able to kill me, unless I stupidly walk into an anomaly. Um, but yeah. I I think that'll that'll be it. We still have to put aside a lot of the stuff. But we do have another Gauss rifle. We have an H HK MP7 which I might fix to replace our Desert Eagle. It's a pretty good weapon, especially for dealing with mutants. Just uh put it on, on full auto and uh just massacre anything that's in the way. We also got the Volat Emerald. I'll probably won't use it. It's uh, honestly, I don't plan on walking into an, any anomalies, so that should be okay. Yeah, and we're gonna have to sell some of these these things. All right, so let's do a quick recap. We started out in outskirts in Strelok's base. The mission was to kill Idolon in Pripyat. I didn't want to take the eastern outskirts entrance to Pripyat because uh, this area is uh, not really the best for fighting all the monolith. There's mutants here, you end up surrounded by the whole monolith base. So I went around through Jupiter Underground, came out through Jupiter, moved to Zaton, moved through the nuclear power plant courtyard, and then came in to Pripyat from the northern side in the stadium. Killed the Chimera, it was very easy to take the southern part of the stadium. And I didn't actually expect this, but the uh, entrance to the actual stadium made a very nice natural choke, choke point where we could kind of pick off Monolith one by one. We also killed Eidolon in very close range with the Gauss. He decided to come all the way from the base uh, to the stadium along with Charon. So that's really cool. The only kind of issue we had was that... Uh, some of the monolith decided to climb up the stairs and take us from the side, but we we were kind of lucky and nothing uh, nothing bad happened. So after that, we looted everything. We even found a, a, a second Gauss rifle, which is amazing. I think the standard Gauss rifle is better than the experimental one. I'll have to actually check the stats on them because I will fix it and I will give it to probably to hip uh, just having someone that can one-shot stalkers uh, might be good though if she shoots me from behind it's gonna be weird so uh, I don't know I'll probably give it to her right after that we moved to Jupiter through the eastern exit I just uh, killed a couple monolith guys and uh, came out in Jupiter and we made a beeline straight to Zaton and the Skadovsk where we're gonna end the episode so um yeah we we do have a few things to consider and maybe to repair for next time we did get the UNISG Nosorog oh I forgot what I put it um ah there it is yeah so we're gonna have to fix this as well. Mm. I mean, it looks to be the exact same. Those are actually interesting parts it has on. Uh, but yeah. Um... Oh, that's a lot of you around here. So, we'll end it right here. I uh, hope you enjoyed the episode. And as always, I'll see you all next time.